is going to get us here. Oh, he's neat. Is that good enough? Mirror lens? Yeah. Is that a fixed uh, f-stop then? Yeah, it's an f8. F8. I had one of those one day. <clears throat> it took a Yeah, it is. I've got a, a fixed 400, but it's not the mirror lens. I've got a 400. It's a little faster than that. So. Yeah, I've got a 400 uh, 5 6, I think it is. Yeah, that's that, the one I've that got. That gator in the water, that's. Back in my gator hunting days, when I saw little gators like this, I, I'd. Uh, Make a noise that, that I don't do. Okay, I don't do that anymore. Okay. You want to put a tripod down? In the 50s, when I was gator hunting, when I'd run across little gators like this, I could make a little grunting sound, just like they make, only a call for help. And daddy or mama might come out and usually be mama and I'd usually pop them and skin them out. <laughs> but I quit doing that about 1961. <laughs> can you uh, can you still make a sound? Well, see, I haven't seen mama, but maybe you can call her in. I can, but I don't think it's a good idea to do that anymore. You know, it, it stresses them out some. Um, I could probably do it, but not like distress, just like one of them grunts. If you want to hear it, yeah, what it sounds like. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know if Mama heard that or not. I just look over my shoulder every once in a while, <laughs> make yeah. sure she's not sneaking up behind us. <laughs> so she's probably back off, maybe over there on the left or something. She might be up in there. Yeah. She, she may see us too. There's back there. Yeah. I don't. Did you notice the difference in size between that one that was laying up on top there and the yeah. other ones? That one was real small. It looked like it was real the different other age. Were real small, right? Right. Yeah, I saw it. Well, the eggs that are near the top of the nest get the warmest, and they turn out to be males. And they're when they hatch out. They uh, grow faster, usually. They get bigger, and of course, they're more dominant, you know. Well, they, uh, there was quite a size difference. I mean, that, that little one out there, that was the female then on the point there? Yeah, that was a little female there. Yeah. Ah. There. Okay. Yeah, those gators, uh, the female, you know, she lays anywhere from 35 to 45 eggs, and the eggs that are near the top of the male gators and the eggs that are down, deeper down in the nest, they're cooler, and they turn out to be the females. Yeah, I think sometimes the whole hatch can be one sex, too, if it stays too warm for too long. It can. You yeah. can have a whole clutch of male gators <laughs> at one time. A off there in that dead cypress tree, is that a osprey nest or is that just a ball of uh... That's an osprey's oh, nest. Oh yeah, I can see the bird in it. Yeah. From here. Sure enough. Yeah, it's a long way up there. Yeah. Does this river go all that far up? That's an osprey's nest up there. But the yeah. river goes up yeah. there? Yeah, it goes right on around. Is this part of the river all natural or? Yeah. This is, this is the way it's always been, huh? This is a natural, this is the natural Turner's River. I didn't know if this part had been dredged out like they did on the other side of the highway or? No, the only disturbance it's had has been just from some of the old timers used to come up here in their hunting skiffs and cut a log and float it down to build something.
That little gator there decided he wanted to go to the shore and get out of our way, didn't yeah. he? He's moving pretty good. I just saw him, too. He's that one there, that little one. Right one. There. Yeah. Hard to stop with this wind. Yeah. Let me plant the paddle back here and see That's if I can. One. I got right. mine. I got us pulled in here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Wow. Got him. You know what I need is uh, something to steady this camera. Just, I'm going to sandbag it. If you'll be real still, I'll get a I'm shot at him. I'll just still. use my bag for it. He's keeping us moving around. He's cooperating. I guess they think you don't see him. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Talk about him moving again. Like, there he goes. Well, there he goes. I guess he decided uh, he wasn't getting enough pay for this <laughs> filming today, so. You can get some good pictures of him now. Yeah. I didn't get a model release either. I don't know if I can use his picture or not. <laughs> well, stick your hand down there and see if he'll sign it. Well, be like, uh, he'd probably take it out in food if I gave him my finger. I believe so. Okay. With the camera? Did you get him? Man, I got him. I'm telling you, I got a great shot of him. He just turned just right. And the sun hit him just on perfect, got a nice catch light in his eye. Just a great shot. We'll see that as a postcard someday? <laughs> no, I, I didn't get a model release from him. And <laughs> you know, you gotta pay for shots like that. Yeah. But you might see it on the internet. You never know. <laughs> they move through the water with nice red leaves. maple tree there. Yeah, they they leafed out good this year so far. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're leafing out a little early too, aren't yeah. they? It's just some of the cypress is just starting to show up, but not much yet. Check out that cypress tree up there. There's your real one. That's, a, that's an oldie. Yeah, that's an oldie. Three or four hundred years, maybe, or more? More than that, more than probably. That. I think there's a little... That's an old one. A little blue or a tricolor right at the base of that tree out of the, over the edge of the water. Yeah. I think it might have been a tricolor. I hear the osprey. Yeah, Mama Osprey's a little nervous, isn't she? up on some more I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, get we will. I see that osprey up there. Where is it? Oh uh, you can see it right through the hole in that big cypress tree on the left side, just to the left side of that real big tree about halfway up on a limb way okay. uh, about 300 two or three hundred yards up there. Yeah, I see it now. See it? Mm-hmm. You guys are cruel. It's just ruthlessly cruel. He just jealous because you don't have a shirt like this. Well, Wendy. You know, when Clyde Butcher first came down here and I was guiding him out in the glades to do black and white photography, I took him to a lot of places, but I've never taken him up here on Turner's River, and I think I'm going to have to bring him up here and, so he can shoot some black and white, and I can shoot some large format color. You do large format too? Yeah, I shoot shoot four by five inch film a lot, and 
Occasionally I shoot some 8x10 uh, transparency film. Not very often. Clyde's quite a guy. Yeah, he is. He gets his feet wet a lot. He's a first class environmentalist, I'll tell you that. Yeah. He really promotes salvation of these glades. Well, uh, the work he's doing with the images and stuff. Or, yeah. Uh, giving the, the glades a whole level of recognition they couldn't have gotten without him. Yeah, you're right. He likes to film over on Loxahatchee River. Yeah, I know. I've seen I've seen some of his stuff from over there. I've seen some of his images from Loxahatchee. That's a real photogenic place too. Yeah, it is. There's a well, that's a good place to photograph birds too. I've been over there with my cameras from time to time. I've never been over there. I've always just kind of stuck around this area. Yeah. Does this pretty much just end up at the road now? You can't go. I know you can. Okay. You see the osprey up there, Oscar? Looks like he's eating something. I've been watching him. Uh, he might have a little fish up there. He's yeah. having, having his breakfast. He's got something because he keeps uh, bending down to pick at something there. There he goes again. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty awesome, isn't he? Yeah, pretty fur. Throwing some under, yeah. you know. Because of that white on the bird and mm -hmm. shot some both ways. Now I'm going to have some. What? Uh, we're going to. Oh, oh, I thought you were filming the bird. He wants us to talk about that. You, uh, you getting some good shots of that bird? Yeah, this is a great osprey, and it's just an incredible, natural, native scene with this huge cypress tree, and it's one of the nicest photogenic osprey nests I've ever seen. I know it's too. And Hinga just sort of flew by, and yeah. as soon as anything gets around that nest, the bird starts to uh, starts to let out a, a yeah. sound. He, he doesn't want any other birds right around that nest. He lets them know that that's his territory. The male is sitting up there on that top limb. The female's down there in the nest every once in a while. You can see her moving around. I think she has eggs in there, and she's rolling them around once in a while to keep the heat even on them and keep them turned. It's like a wood stork up above it there on the wing, way up high. Yeah, I think this scene is... Are you stuck? It's jammed. <laughs> okay, you want to see me take a swim? No. Is this the humor part? Yeah. How much you take for that tripod <laughs> you got? This got used on the boat. Salt water. Yeah, yeah. WD-40. <laughs> Maybe uh, right. these well of trees right here for foreground, and the river for the middle ground. You get all that with that wide angle lens. And that osprey nest, that big cypress tree. Yeah, it takes in probably 